When removing the axle, you will need to loosen the 32 mm 12 point nut, yellow arrow. If you do not have an impact gun, the best way to do this is pop off the center cap on the wheel and with the wheel on the car and the vehicle on the ground, use a very large breaker bar. Get as much leverage as you can on the breaker bar and loosen the nut before raising the vehicle. If you already have the wheels off and the vehicle in the air, the brake caliper, red arrow, does not have enough force to hold the hub while you try to use a breaker bar on it. The axle collar nut will have a section of it that is folded into a gap in the axle. Use a punch and tap the metal out, red arrow. This will allow you to remove the 32 mm 12 point collar nut. You will need to remove the brake caliper, pads, rotor, sensors, and parking brake to get access to the two 5 mm Allen bolts, yellow arrows, that hold the two 13 mm bolts, blue arrows, that hold the dust shield on. Please see our articles and videos on removing the brake and parking brake system for additional assistance by following the link provided at the end of this video. And make sure to safely hang the caliper up out of the way, red arrow. Never let it hang by the brake line. Place a floor jack under the swing control arm and raise the suspension up until the axle is almost level. Use a proper bearing puller, in our case a standard three arm puller worked fine, and pull the hub, red arrow, out of the bearing. Make sure that the 32 millimeter nut is off to allow the hub to walk out from the bearing. There is a good chance the outer race of the hub bearing will come off on the hub. You will deal with this later. With the dust shield free to move, you can spin it around and remove the camber strut, red arrow, torque strut, yellow arrow, tie rod, blue arrow, and the control arm, not shown, where they connect to the wheel carrier. Lower the jack and pull the wheel carrier forward. It should be pulled outward and down, freeing the axle from the carrier. Pulling the wheel carrier outward, red arrow, will give you enough room to access the four E12 torque bolts. Remove the four E12 torque bolts, red arrows, holding the bearing to the wheel carrier. One of the races from the bearing, yellow arrow, will probably come off on the hub, red arrow. There are several ways you can remove this. If there is a small gap, you can get a bearing separator tool in there. Or you can use a Dremel to cut the race, but... But you need to be very careful not to damage the hub. At the end of the day, I took our project car's hub to a suspension shop and they had it safely off in a matter of minutes using an air hammer. Make sure to give the bearing mounting area in the wheel carrier a good cleaning before installing the new bearing. Installation is the reverse of removal, and now would be a good time to get your alignment checked. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article, along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.